I am in Utah. Yeah, right? <laughs> you wait five minutes and the weather's going to change. So here's a look at uh, some of the snow that we saw in Mount Pleasant down in San Pete Valley. They got hit pretty good out on the bench here. 17 inches of the white stuff. Kate Whitesides uh, with the credit there. You can see it on this little pillar. Uh, a full 17 inches of snow. That's quite a bit, folks. That does add to the snowpack. These are updated numbers. I mean, look at what we've got here, folks. Statewide average, 121%. The highest uh, of all the drainage basins, that's actually lower severe. Great news. This is one of the drainage basins that actually struggles the most when we go through the winter months. So it's nice to see those numbers up for everybody across the state. And we're getting really close to the peak of the season, which is about early April. So a couple more weeks. Low pressure in the Pacific Northwest, another one out on the coast or off the coast of California. These guys are going to work together to bring in this stalled boundary, almost like what we saw this last weekend. A stationary front here that it's not going to be moving too much, extended through California and into southern Idaho today and even into tomorrow. While this thing stalled out, we could see a couple of snow showers along the Idaho border there, specifically along I-84. That's where you saw the picture of all the crashes there and even in the mountains of Utah. We could see maybe an isolated shower today and tomorrow, but the best chance to see some rain snow showers won't be until this thing finally makes a move for the Wasatch Front on Thursday, kicking off a couple of showers in the morning and then even in Thursday afternoon. That could include portions of southwest Utah as well. So for today, we're not worried about precip really. It's just going to be clouds. Temperatures in the 40s. Down to the southern half, 52 in Cedar City, 46 in Panguitch. Blanning, you're 51. To the northern half, okay, we did see that stalled out boundary, so a couple of snow showers possible for Montpelier in southern Idaho. Cache Valley might see something, but you get into Ogden southward, it's probably just going to remain clouds. St. George, 62 to 63, not much change over the next couple. Then we'll go 61, chance for showers on Thursday. Into the weekend, looks like high pressure starts to move in. So I think as we fire up next week, it's going to be warmer. Uh, 51 on Wednesday, 45 on Thursday. There's your best chance for rain, snow, showers. And even that doesn't look impressive. Coldest day of the next seven is Friday before we rebound as we head into the weekend, Amy. Nice to see a little warmer temperatures for the weekend.